Good morning on and all present here. This is Saranya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science from Dr. SNS Rajalakshmi College of Arts and Science. Today we are going to see in the lecture series the topic regular grammar in theory of computation. Before we move on to regular grammar, uh, let us see regular language. Uh, regular language accepted by finite automata, theory of finite automata in simple way of expression that is called as an regular expression. Simply, uh, the word expression in computer term we used to say uh, the combination of operands as well as operations is known as regular expressions. Uh, it's none other than a set of patterns, sequence of patterns that defines string. So, the another important topic under regular language is none other than regular grammar. So, the word grammar itself knows clearly that uh, it's a set of rules. So, grammar in theory of computation is a finite set of formal rules that are uh, generating syntactically correct sentence. The formal definitions of grammar is that uh, defined in four tuples. G is equal to V, T, P, S. So, th uh, this uh, four tuples frame the grammar. G refers to grammar. Consider a grammar as uh, G is equal to V, T, P, S. So, where uh, V is none other than denoted as a non-terminal symbol in regular grammar. And then um, V uh, non-terminal symbols usually speci uh, specified, denoted in capital letter, uppercase letters. And then T referred as uh, terminal symbols. So terminal symbols and all denoted uh, with the help of lowercase letters, small case. And then set of production rules, that's none other than acronym P, uh, P uh, and then S denoted as an stat symbol. So with these four tuples, we are going to frame the regular grammar. So uh, grammar constituents, we have two different symbols. One is terminal symbols and another one is non-terminal symbols. As I told already, uh, terminal symbols specified in uh, tuple T as well as non-terminal symbols specified in V. So now let us see the types of uh, grammar. Types of grammar, we have four different types of grammar. Uh, type 0, type 1, type 2 and then type 3. So each and every grammar, we are going to specify some set of language as well as uh, automata. The automata is none other than Latin word uh, frame uh, under automaton. Automaton is one of the scientist name closely related to machine. So that's what we used to call the uh, NTOC uh, theory of computation automata. So in that also for each and every grammar type we have uh, we are going to implement some set of uh, automata four different types of automata is available for each and every problems based on that uh, based, uh, based on the problem we are going to choose over the automata. So and then uh, each and every type we have some set of uh, rules production rules. And then uh, let us see each and every type uh, with the language. Type 0, we are going to specify the language called recursively enumerable. So the enumerable concepts and all we are going to specify under the type 0 in order to solve some technical problems. And then uh, that some complicated problems and all solve with the help of automata. Q uh, is none other than Turing machines when compared to all other uh, the one of the important and also powerful machine is none other than Turing machines and uh, no need to apply any uh, set of rules under production rules under Turing machine. So type 1 uh, is uh, we are going to specify the contact sensitive grammar uh, it's none other than cons contact sensitive language. In that, we are going to apply the automata as a linear bounded non-deterministic finite automata. And also apply uh, some set of production rules uh, by, with the help of alpha and beta. And then type 2 is none other than we are going to specify the language called uh, contacts free grammar. In that, uh, we are going to specify the automata 
machine uh, as well uh, non deterministic push down automata so push down automata uh, is going to implement in order to solve some technical problem by using the grammar type 2 and then uh, type 3 is a regular regular language we are going to specify under the least powerful machine that's none other than finite state automata there also we are going to specify some set of rules uh, with the help of finite state automata we can able to solve some simple problems and technically so in that we are going to apply regular language at the same time regular way of expression so then uh, under toc we have uh, some set of frame uh, for each and every language regular language we are going to use for simple problem and somewhat more than uh, simple problem we are going to specify contact free grammar and then contact sensitive grammar for uh, more powerful as well as complicated problems and also all with the help of recursively enumerable cheering machines we can apply so if you have any queries uh, students please contact me Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.